Okay, so first you're going to grab the Arduino Uno and the CNC shield. And you're going to plug the CNC shield into the Arduino Uno according to the pins. It's pretty straightforward. They should just align very easily. And once they're aligned, you just push the two boards together. The CNC shield really acts as a system that allows you to connect the motors to the Arduino in a very nice way without any soldering. So next we'll take these jumpers and we'll place them all over the CNC shield, which will allow us to enable micro-stepping for our motors. Take the first jumper. We'll place it on the pins in front of that capacitor right there. And we'll go ahead and place three of them, three jumpers. There's three locations for them. And that will give us one 30 second micro-stepping for the motor. And we'll do that for all of the motors. Okay, so you see we put in three jumpers for each of the three motors. Next, we're gonna put a jumper on the enable pin on the CNC shield. This will allow us to have the motors automatically enabled whenever we run our software. So we don't have to enable it through the software. It makes it a bit easier. You can think of these pins as sort of switches or decisions. And in our case, we're enabling all the stepper motors to be on. Next, we'll take, take our Pololu stepper motor drivers and we'll place them on the CNC motor shield. Now it's very important, if you see this enable EN sign, it's very important that that aligns with the EN on the CNC motor shield. Otherwise, you'll get, uh, it won't be pretty, smoke will start coming out. So you see I'm pointing out to the EN, so the ENs should correspond quite nicely on the board. So take a look at your driver, which is the purple bit, and take a look at your shield and just make sure that the labels align whenever you plug them. We'll go ahead and do that for all three of them. Once that's done, we'll take these little metal pieces, which are known as heat sinks. And what they do, we'll peel off the plastic and we'll place it on the CNC driver. And what they do is they draw heat away from the chip. So when you're running it, it doesn't get super hot. Okay, once that's done, we'll grab the power connector and we'll plug the red wire into the plus side of the power connector. So you'll stick it in and then tighten down the screw. In my case, I'm using a flat head screwdriver in order to clamp down on the wire. And we'll do the same for the minus side. Once that's done, we'll plug in those wires into the associated plus and minus side on the CNC shield. Red goes into plus, black goes into minus. Stick it in and tighten it down. Next, I'll show you how to plug in the motor and the motor will, be, will come from your syringe pump. So you look at the wire and you notice there's a blue wire uh, coming from the motor and this blue wire should be facing towards you or in this case upwards. And you plug them into the pins right next to the driver. And since we have three drivers installed, we can use three motors. So you just push them onto the pins. And I'm just showing you how you can do that with each of the three drivers if you were to have three motors that you were running.
and you're done.